Welcome. In this video, we'll consider who should self-migrate. Then, if you match our recommendations, continue on in the video to understand the migration process and learn to validate that your migration is successful. Only you can decide how to migrate based on your individual environment and resources. There are two obvious migration directions, self-migrate or engage professional services or a partner. We strongly recommend that you only consider self-migration if you have roughly 100 users or less. The size and complexity of your Tableau server environment is manageable. And you have competent and available technical resources. If you're uncertain, your Tableau account team is a good resource to assist you in this decision. However, if your Tableau server environment is more complex, we suggest that you engage our professional services or a migration partner. The first step in your migration journey is to identify what you want to migrate and what you want to leave behind. There are stale content views installed with Tableau Server to help you identify content that you do not need to migrate. Consider where your data are stored. Learn about Tableau Bridge and determine if you'll need it to connect to your existing on-premises data. Authentication and single sign-on will need to be configured and tested. You'll need to work with your Tableau account team to establish your Tableau cloud deployment. You can either configure the exact same license and capability count, that is creators, explorers, and viewers, as your current Tableau server, or you can make adjustments based on current requirements. Remember that Tableau Cloud supports role-based licenses only. If you are using core licensing on your Tableau server, you must convert to role-based licensing. You can also consider user-based licenses if you are supporting external embedded use cases with Tableau Cloud. Talk to your account team. If you have acquired data management or advanced management on Tableau Server, you'll need to add it to Tableau Cloud as well to maintain the same features. When your cloud site is established, you must set initial administrative properties and adjust as you migrate. Once your Tableau Cloud site has been provisioned, you are ready to add users. As with Tableau Server, you may add them one at a time or import a CSV file. Now is the time to set up your desired authentication method, test, and ensure you are ready to accommodate MFA. Place your users in proper user groups. The group structure can be replicated exactly as it exists on Tableau Server, or modify it as needed. Create your nested project structure, either by duplicating your existing Tableau Server structure or modifying as needed. Publish data sources before publishing related workbooks to make migration easier. Follow the steps in the Manual Migration Guide to create data sources from scratch with your cloud data source. You may need to authorize Tableau Cloud IP addresses. Instructions are available on online help, or you can. Follow the steps to open workbooks in Tableau Desktop and publish data sources to Tableau Cloud. Make sure that Tableau Bridge is installed on a computer within your network and is properly authenticated to Tableau Cloud. Test on-premises data sources to make sure the bridge is operating properly. Now you are ready to copy the content. Follow the steps in the Manual Migration Guide to publish workbooks. Steps vary depending on whether you use Workbook Connect to publish data sources or if you use embedded data sources. Don't forget Tableau Bridge. Embedded data source workbooks may need to be converted to publish data sources to ensure bridge support. Test, test, test. We recommend reviewing this process with multiple creators in your organization to share the load. To migrate your prep flows. If you are using local prep flows with Prep Builder, you must open them, change connection information to your cloud-based data sources, and test. If you are using server-based Tableau prep flows, follow the steps in the manual migration guide to recreate flows from scratch. Unlike Tableau Desktop, you can't open a server-based prep flow, make changes, and republish. You must recreate. Remember the bridge limitation on scheduled prep flows. Explore online help for possible workarounds, but plan accordingly. Once your content is published, it's time to set permissions. If it suited you well, you may follow the same permissions model as your Tableau server. If not, now is a good time to modify as needed. Don't forget to adjust workbook user filters and virtual connection data policies if you have data management and are using virtual connection row-level security. Our last step is to recreate your extract refreshes and prep flow schedules. You can duplicate scheduled refreshes from server or take time to improve the schedule. 
Note that there may be some differences in the ability of cloud to mimic the exact same schedules. As with Tableau Server, Tableau Cloud requires data management to schedule prep flows. Test extract refreshes and prep flows that depend on Tableau Bridge to connect to on-premises data sources. You may need to make adjustments, especially for prep flows. In some cases, you may need to search for workarounds. Other schedules, triggers, subscriptions, and data-driven alerts will need to be recreated. You can go over the process with creators and let them recreate these. If you are using Ask Data on Tableau Server, Ask Data lenses will need to be recreated on Tableau Cloud. Validation is a very important step. Migration won't be complete until workbooks, data sources, schedules, and so forth have been validated and are working properly. We recommended that those primarily responsible for the higher level migration also validate at a high level, what we might call a sanity check. Compare your server environment, projects, content, users, data sources, permissions, to your cloud site to ensure that things are on cloud in the right place. Do high level permissions checks, perhaps log in with sample users and groups to ensure proper permissions. Share the load of testing with your user community. They'll feel engaged in the process and will bear some responsibility for validation. Have them check that. They can log in. They can see all their content and can't see content they shouldn't. They can view workbooks without being prompted for data source credentials. They can see the right data. Their prep flow sourced data sources are there and are being updated. Their extracts are being refreshed. Ask DataWorks. They are getting emails from their subscribed workbooks. Now you're aware who should self-migrate, and we've discussed the migration process and validation steps to ensure that your migration is successful. We recommend that you follow the steps in the manual migration guide as you self-migrate to Tableau Cloud. For more detailed information and resources, visit help.salesforce.com or explore the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for joining us.